Back when the world was still open, a time before COVID, we had an adventure, a little different from the usual. We're used to the ocean and surfing. We're used to the bush and climbing mountains. But this season, we're trying something new. We're going to a city, a big city. Join us today as we reach our season finale. During our final moments in Hong Kong, we squeeze in a visit to the Big Buddha and the Tai O Fishing Village. The best part, we do this with friends. We were supposed to take these awesome cable cars over to the Big Buddha. Sadly, they were broken down, so we had to take a combination of trains and buses to get there. Hi, so excited to eat her cake. We're not allowed to eat on public transportation, so we've had to be patient. Hallie's birthday was technically yesterday. We were so busy, we didn't have a chance to have a special dessert. We thought it would be fun to do it today. Happy third birthday, baby girl. Mm, how is it, Hallie? Is it's it pretty good? But can I taste the wrinkle? Yeah. Yeah, look. This is it. You see the big Buddha up there, honey? <laughs> we have our friends with us again today. You've probably seen them pop up in some of our other Hong Kong videos. Now, I've got to tell you about them. When we first moved to New Zealand, it was so scary and we knew so little. Our friends that are on this trip with us were our very first friends in New Zealand. They arrived just a month before us. We met for the first time at a holiday program at our local shopping center. We started talking and instantly hit it off. Oddly enough, we realized that our husbands worked together. Our families soon grew close and had a mutual understanding that we were there for each other. It's hard being so far from family, but our friends turned into family. All right, guys. Here we go. Up on the right. Okay. Who's going to start? I am. Okay. Worth falling for Oh, and with open arms I'll carry yours One of our friends is Alexa. She's the sweetest little girl. She's like a big sister to Hallie. She looks after her and makes her feel loved and comfortable. They have such a strong bond and care so much about each other. Another one of our friends is Evan. He's really cool. My boys love listening to him talk about all sorts of things like Pokemon and Minecraft. They learn so much from him. Our youngest friend is Andrew. He's really smart and he works so hard on being brave in uncomfortable situations. Now we check them out, walk around and explore. When moving to a foreign country, it's a steep learning curve and you face so many difficult situations. 
Our friends have consistently supported us. We learn together. We support each other. We know we'll always have help when we need it. We're lucky to call them friends. So this is our friend Carl. He's easygoing and funny. He has a strong work ethic, always happy to help. He sacrifices for his family and provides them with endless support. to the Tayo fishing village we decided to take a taxi um, because it was 12 minutes as opposed to an hour and a half um, so here we are we're excited to check it out I am not a raincoat here to keep you warm but go back in the closet after the storm I'm not a match simply waiting to burn all I am is a friend your friend a lot of people would say it's hard to travel with family and friends, but for us, this trip with our friends was perfect. We did some things together and some things apart. When we're together, things seem to be a bit smoother and everyone is happy. I'm really glad we decided to explore the Tayo Fishing Village. It's so different from the main areas of Hong Kong. It was really neat seeing all the boats, fishermen, and interesting items for sale. We thought it would be cool to maybe try something, but we weren't quite brave enough. None of it was in English, so we didn't really know what things were. I feel like the Tayo Fishing Village is kind of like the Venice of Hong Kong. You have the waterways, houses on stilts, people selling things off of boats. It was really cool to see. It's really hard to believe that at one time this was one of the biggest villages on the island with a population over 30,000. Nowadays the population is only around 2,000. It seems like only a matter of time before the traditional fishing culture will diminish. I'm glad we had a chance to explore it with our friends. I've told you about almost all of our friends that are with us on this trip. I've saved one for last. This is my friend Carla. She was put into my life when I needed her the most. I don't know how she does it, but she always knows the right thing to say. I feel she truly gets me. We have a similar heart for travel. She's the type of person I can talk to for hours, share my embarrassing moments, share my frustrations. She'll also do everything in her power to support me and my family. She's a great person and I'm so lucky to call her a friend. With the tide singing Eventually, it was time to leave and head to the airport for our flight back to New Zealand. Waiting for the sun to rise, rainy days and careless nights. Say you will, don't say goodbye, say it's alright. We left the fishing village early so we'd have plenty of time to get to the airport. The great news is that it only took an hour 
so it's 3.30. Um, we decided to eat one of the restaurants here at the airport called the Jade Garden, get a little bit more taste of authentic food before we eat. Boys wanted McDonald's. You and me, let's fly away somewhere past the Milky Way. Maybe we'll return someday. Don't wake me up, don't wake me up. Riding on an endless way. That's for dessert, honey. It tastes like hair. It's just decoration. What are you doing? We've had a great time in Hong Kong. We've had challenges that have made us stronger and smarter. We've made memories and grown closer as a family. One of the best parts is we were able to do this with friends. Obi is in charge of finding gate 55 today. See if he can do it. We got our stroller. Here it is. Thank you everyone for watching our Hong Kong series. Stay tuned for a special episode about our travel thoughts and expenses. Keep an eye out for our next series. We'll be taking you back to New Zealand and road tripping around the South Island. This series will be our best one yet. We had some pretty crazy adventures. Thank you to the travel... Thank you to... Thank you to the Family Vlog family. That's hard to say. Thank you to the, thank you to the Travel Vlog family for commenting. Thank you everyone for watching. Subscribe so we can see you next time.